Gates, and thank you very much for GS1 Hong Kong and GS1 Thailand. They invited me to stand here today. And uh, I would like to introduce my director, Mr. Picanet. He's the Plan and Development Bureau in uh, Office of Consumer Protection Board. And Mr. Browit. He's from GS1 Thailand. And it's my great occasion to share and exchange uh, my experience with you all today for my presentation. I've separated my presentation into five main parts. First is food safety management. The second is food situation in Thailand and food trends in Thailand. Uh, I will show you what's going on in Thailand and consumer protection in food safety. The last is conclusion. Okay, we would like to start with food safety management. As you see in this slide, it's the normal food supply chain in the general market in Thailand. We start from farm to manufacture and then transport to markets who act like the food center and finish at the consumers that we call um, table. In this slide, I use phrase from farm to table because it really means like that. But I don't mean about farm to table in economic concept which is the concept of purchasing locally grown food directly from the source. But I mean in Thailand, we consume our domestic food from our farm with only small import food. And the agricultural sector has played an important role in supplying food, driving economic growth and generating employment. Because of the very importance of local food, Thailand has established National Food Committee Act in 2008. The Act set up a committee who serves as the core agency in all dimensions of food management. It is empowered to propose policies and strategies regarding food quality, food safety, um, food security, and food study. The committee is also re responsible for working out a food warning system for the cabinet. Um, to assign related agencies to handle food management in the same direction. Um, we have 11 related ministries uh, with 30 government agencies under and four major boards which is um, National Security Council, National Economic and Social Development Board, National Health Committee and the last is our office, Consumer Protection Board. The vision of the National Food Committee is ensuring quality and safe food supply for food security and human well-being. We rely on the consumer's well-being as priority. Um, the committee defines strategies into four parts. First is food security, food quality and safety, management, which covers transportation and storage, and food education. And there are five objectives of this committee, um, which is first is efficient and effective management of food production resorts and ensuring high quality, safe and nutritious food produced at household. Uh, which I can conclude that we need our food to be safety and need our people to have awareness in, uh, in their right. So we try to develop many tools to support these objectives. Move to the second topic, food situation in Thailand. I will talk more about food situation in Thailand. Now, not only in Bangkok, but also in every big cities in Thailand are changing. People are in hurry life than ever because of the driving economics. Um, in the past, Thais always eat um, fresh steamed rice with hot cook, but now it changed. They have to spend more time on the street and you too, I'm not sure. Maybe the same. Uh, uh, we have to spend more time on the street with the terrible traffic jam. Uh, example, my neighbor have two kids and they have to spend more time for driving two hours from home to office. And she can, uh, she can teach homework for their kids on the car and then she can make up her face on the car too. <laughs> yes, it's real. So they are necessary to pay less time for food preparing. Um, then they choose the famous choice 
for eating, which is ready meal. Mm -hmm. Now, ready meal is very popular in Thailand, not only in Bangkok, but also in every big district. We have 7-Eleven, Big C, Tesco Lotus. And what is the problem we face? Nuggets, low quality manufacturer, was it? Uh, if you see, it's moldy rice. Right? It's turned from white rice into green. We found many low quality food in ready meal type. And this picture is the steamed rice with Korea pork menu. And we found the green fungus inside with chain rice from white to be green with fluffy Korea pork. Um, the situation happened with a Thai guy who is a computer engineer and he has to spend most of his life in front of the computer. So he has no time to cook and he always eat ready meal that he bought from big supermarket. But one night after he really tired from a mountain of work, he opened, he turned on only a lamp on the dates and start eating rice from the, this box. And then he smelled the turbo from this box. He stopped. After he turned on the living room light, uh -huh, he choked with the moldy rice in the box. For this case, he made a complaint directly to the supermarket, who is a food retailer. It's the mistaken from storage uh, in transportation process of the manufacturer. And however, uh, the supermarket as the retailer, they compensate this type guy for the damage. The next is moldy butter cake. This is the mistaking of transportation in retailer proceeds. <laughs> After a Thai woman bought this cake from a convenience store, and as you know the name, the famous convenience store in Thailand and Hong Kong, uh, she bought only one day, and she found green fungus in this cake. Then she complained to the shop it's the mistaken of storage of retailer and the shop compensate this Thai lady for the damage. In Thailand, we have a division named UPWAC, U-P-V-A-C. It's from Unself Product Verification and Alert Center. It's under our office, OCPB. It tried to solve this early food or product. And now it's developing monitoring and alert system. This system it's a web portal which consumer can send information of unsafe product or unsafe food uh, directly to us. And we will investigate the food or product in two ways. First is lab testing, and the second is food trustability. For the trustability, we coordinate with GS1 Thailand uh, for the data, and we now have the MOU between us. And now we are trying to expand our database together and some of application on mobile too. Uh, we are the first country in ASEAN who has a formal corporate between just one and government sector. Okay, we already talked about some of which from low standard of the manufacturer and retailer. However, that is uh, an important issue about the low awareness of consumers, especially children. Her children always see the snack advertising on TV, especially on cartoon period. And they buy this snack without considering about the nutrition. Most of them choose the snack which they can remember from watching TV. And it's serving them up obesity. Anyway, we cannot blame that children never read the ingredient before eating, because sometimes they really don't know what is identified on the label. Um, it is the hard issue for Thailand to serve food education to our children. There's a report on Bangkok Post newspaper of famous Thailand last year that one in five Thai kids face obesity. Thai children on average consume only about one and a half tablespoons of vegetable in each day instead of the recommended 12 tablespoons. And at the same time, they eat uh, 20 of tablespoons of snacks each day with a lot of sodium and fat. And many children were also lacking iodine or iron which 
could lead to various health problems. This is today's food supply chain in Thailand, which is changing in coming period. Okay, we move on to the third topic, food trends in Thailand. People want to be healthiness and beauty with no exercise. <laughs> We're coming to the third topic. The trend for health and wellness in Thailand is expected to look proper over the forecast period. Consumers search for the products to compensate their poor dietary habits and the lack of time for rest or exercise. An intake of vitamins and dietary supplements to stay healthy and prolong longevity rather than spending money and time on health care. It is imperative to, uh, for government and business person to keep educating consumers on awareness of the essence of vitamin and dietary supplements for healthy lives. You see it, it's a vitamin trend in Thailand. Everyone, every young lady want to be white. <laughs> I'm not sure it's um, Korean fever like that. Now today there's a beauty trend for women in Thailand. Most of them want to be young, have white skin, and slim shape. You can see the whitening cream or supplementary food, uh, just like coffee for whitening in Thailand. Um, this advertising, half of this advertising happened on website in Thailand. And now it's very easy for consumers to consume any of them. They only order the supplementary food or product they want on website and pay by credit card. And there are many misleading advertising of, sup of supplementary food on the website too. And we are trying to solve this problem, which I will inform you in the last topic. I will show you, oh, sorry. Could I go back to the previous? Are you uh, the example of advertising? ทุกวันนี้อะไรอะไรก็เปลี่ยนแปลงได้ชั้นเดียวเพิ่มได้แบนด์ก็เสริมได้ไข่ดาวก็ทำตุ้มได้แล้วนี่ล่ะก็ดื่มได้สูตรใหม่เครื่องดื่มบริงไว้ประกอบด้วยแอลกูตาไทโอน It's an advertisement of a big brand of supplementary food named Blink. Uh, it says about a young girl who want to be beautiful girl. It reflects the social trend in Thailand. Younger lady wish to have big eyes, <laughs> prominent nose, and beautiful braids, and white skin. Mm -hmm. It said women will be white after drink this bottle every day. And the advertisement like this are broadcast on many media, especially cable TV, which are more than 10,000 channels in Thailand. Let's see it again. ทุกวันนี้อะไรอะไรก็เปลี่ยนแปลงได้ชั้นเดียวเพิ่มได้แบนก็เสริมได้ไข่ดาวก็ทำตุ้มได้แล้วนี่ล่ะก็ดื่มได้สูตรใหม่เครื่องดื่มบริงไว้ประกอบด้วยแอลกูตาไทโอน The next is um, an advertisement of the same brand named Blink. It says about a middle-aged woman. Who dare not to smile because of she worry about the wrinkle or the face? Okay, let's see it. Be a girl who is hot. Ring collagen ring, composed of collagen 2,000 milligrams, extracted from the water. Ring collagen ring, every day. This advertisement said that the collagen in this bottle will keep middle-aged women like me um, to far away from the wrinkle. It can make women fade smooth, soft, and brighter. And the next is very hot hit in Thailand. This is an advertisement of the big direct sales company in Thailand named Nature Gift. It says about the slim shape women will be accepted from men more than the rest.
ที่เห็นผู้หญิงมั่นใจลองกาแฟเนเจอร์กิฟ This advertisement said that this coffee will help women to control weight and get rid of fat, and it can make women to be slimmer. Very hot in Thailand. As I said, that food supply chain is changing. It's changed because of the direct sale and direct marketing growth. Now you can find the food and supplementary food offering very easy on Facebook. It's easy for shopping than ever. And we have to say that Facebook is a very big food marketing channel in Thailand. It's on Facebook. This is an example of direct selling on Line program. Do you have Line program here? It's famous. It's very famous in Thailand, and everybody can sell products or sell food in, uh, in Line program. Uh, the other is WhatsApp pr program. That's WhatsApp. Line program is a very popular smartphone application in Thailand, and young people always chit chat and send photos, send stickers, and especially they send photos of the dish of food before they start eating in every meal. And the business person use this application to support their business also. Consumers can order via message and pay by credit card. Then they're all waiting for the box from the shop. Only two dates. Now we can buy everything on Lightning program and WhatsApp. As I informed that in the last six slides, that food supply chain in Thailand is changing. Now the food moved from farm to manufacturer and then skip supermarket. They use direct sale and online marketing to transport food to consumers. We can summarize that now we are facing of a new challenge marketing channel. Which we try to develop our legal for regulation them in the best way. Then we move to the fourth topic: consumer protection in food safety. In Thailand, there are three main agencies who relate, uh, regulate food supplementary food and food advertisement. First is Food and Drug Administration, or we call FDA. Second is OCPB, which is my office, and the last is National Broadcasting and Telecommunication Commission, or NBTC. FDA hold a major law in food, named Food Act 1979. They control the terms and condition of selling food by announcement, and they control the standard and quality of food by issue the license for the food. This is the flow chart shows responsibility of FDA. They regulate three main parts of food. First is the quality of food depends on safety and nutrition and need to identify all necessary data on label. Second is hygiene control, which they use GMP and HACCP from Codex as the tools for standard regulation. The last is advertisement control. The food advertisement should not be false and misleading, especially not allow medicine claim. The next is a food regulation from my office. We have two main legal about food. First is Consumer Protection Act. It's about um, we identifying that the consumer has right to expect safety in the use of food or service, and the advertisement may not use any text or picture which false or misleading. Uh, I have only two minutes. Okay, skip them. Um, and NBTZ's monitoring. The last agency is the National Broadcasting and Telecommunication Commission. They have no legal for controlling the food or food administration. Oh, oh, sorry, all food advertisement. But they have power to regulate all TV channel. Now they verify and monitor the misleading advertising on food like watchdog, and then they send the case to FDA and sometimes send to us um, if it's the case of direct selling marketing. One minute. Last one minute. Okay, we move to the last of my presentation. I would like to explain about the three related circles, which are business, consumers, and government agency. Every section, not only government, but also business and consumers, must work together to do their base. Businesses have to develop their product and keep on standard. Relevant agencies have to collaborate to drive the good policies and operation. And especially consumers must concern that right and get educated in food safety. 
and now we have Young Consumer Protection Camp in Thailand. And we welcome if you need to join us. Thank you very much.